Hi there, this is Dee, and I want to welcome you back to Big A Divas, aka Bad TV. I want to take a moment to thank each and every person who decided to join me today. Since my last topic was kind of heavy, I've decided to talk about some money-making schemes to avoid. So you won't fall for the fake, chump change paid services which are advertised all over the internet. For anyone looking to make money, I highly recommend you steer clear of many of these online paid survey websites. These companies really want you to sign up, purchase different products and services, even though you're not there to spend money. If you're looking for ways to make money, why would you spend your money on a job which should be paying you? I have tried many of these companies and found myself completely unsatisfied. Many of their surveys are 10 to 25 minutes long and pay approximately 10 cents to $1.50. In order to make more, they require you purchase a product or service. Certain criteria must be met to even be allowed access to some surveys. That's kind of a ripoff. Examples of these companies, Survey Junkie pays you when you reach $10. Swag Bucks pays you when you reach $25. Inbox Dollars pays you when you reach $30. Vendor Research pays you when you reach $50. Panda Research. Once you reach 5,000 points, you can redeem it for a $50 gift card. Cash Crate pays you when you reach $20. I usually get sick and tired of waiting to reach the $25 to $50 limit to get paid. I refuse to waste my time giving a company information which is helpful to their marketing and sales department and not be compensated. If you decide to try these surveys, look at reviews online to see their complaints about the company. This is the best way for you to be sure that the company doesn't have terrible reviews and that you'll get paid. It's becoming difficult to make the kind of money you need to survive. One way to increase your income is to figure out something you do very well and use the free services from social media to advertise your products and services. I've noticed more people going online to advertise crafts, foods, other products, and other services on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now honestly, from what I've seen, working for yourself requires a lot of will and determination. If you really believe you have something that people will be glad to buy, then start advertising your products and services. Reach out to church members, co-workers, family members, and friends to gather support for your independent business, and also tell them to reach out to others on your behalf as well. Use word of mouth to benefit your business. Let's face it, we also need to support others who are trying to promote their businesses. Often there are people who are doing really well on social media and yet they don't want to pay it forward. We should always keep in mind that someone helped us to get where we are and we must always also help someone else. As always, I'm just keeping it 100. The many issues facing our world has created a type of pressure cooker effect in our society. This pressure is causing depression to become overwhelming today. Please seek professional help if you feel that depression is overwhelming your life. Keep in mind, the use of writing as a tool and a voice to say what you need to say can alleviate some of that stress. I have to give a shout out to someone who is pretty amazing. I'm nominating Tammy Sawyer because she's a warrior for justice. She's a Memphis, Tennessee activist who gives a voice to those who can no longer speak for themselves. Tammy has organized visuals to address the unjust and violent actions which have taken place against African Americans in the South. One such case was an unarmed killing of Darius Stewart by a Memphis police officer. Thanks, Tammy, and keep fighting the good fight. The authors I'd like to recognize today are time. These are independent authors I've interacted with on webpad.com. I'm including their username as a link to their work so you can check them out for yourself and show your support. Shevno underscore demon is the username for the author of Haunted. More than 300 years have passed since the same result of lies, make no mistakes, witches are real. Axel and Chase are members of the Blood Brothers, an organization which is established to exterminate witches, good or bad. This story and many more of this author can be found on webpad.com. 
at O underscore Z underscore M underscore O is the username of the author of Eye of the Beholder. Is there a story that comes to mind which shocks you and makes you fear what will happen next? In this short compilation of short stories, be prepared to be surprised by demons so scary you can't forget them even when you move to the next story. Sean Warner has a gift for surprising you, so be prepared to read his stories on Wattpad.com. Swada Vedya 91 is the username for the author of Learning from Heartbreak. When is it time to say goodbye? In this breakup story, the young woman decides that the relationship is over. For far too long, she expected to have a fairy tale romance, only to be treated as if everything about her is wrong in the eyes of her ex-boyfriend. Find out what happens when there is no longer a reason to hold on. You can find her stories on Wattpad.com. At XX Lisa May XX is the username for the author of Sugar and Spice. Lena can't seem to catch a break. She knows that this can't be it. Working in a bar, dealing with drunks. Her life seems to be one big hassle after another until she meets the sexy older Ronan who wants to show her what, the, what a good life really looks like. You can find more of Lisa May's stories at whatpad.com. These independent authors need your support to bring more diversity to entertainment and publishing worldwide. Entertainment and publishing companies do not care about the everyday average person who wants to see themselves represented in books and movies. People want to see movies and books that represent their lives and what's going on in their worlds. These authors are writing the stories you want to read, and they're glad to do so. Please check them out on webpad.com and support them. Just so you know, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter have not contracted me to represent their website. This is my true account of what I've gained from these websites as a reader and a writer. I have not received any form of payment or gratuity in exchange for sharing my experience. Thank you guys. If you have a topic, message me in the comment section. I will message you back if I decide to use your suggestion in the future. If you would like to promote anything on this channel, please contact me at the links below. And don't forget, comment, like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to building this platform and I need your help. I want to leave you by saying I believe it takes determination and willpower to accomplish anything. I also believe sometimes it takes meeting the right people to catapult you to the next level of success. My desire is for the Big A Diva or Bad TV channel to be that catapult. So come prepared to join in and share your accomplishments, goals, and let's help one another. Don't forget to join us on Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for more BAD TV. Thanks for watching and remember, it's time to unite and level up. See you on Tuesday, August the 28th. Trust me, you don't want to miss this.